The angry protests pushing Pakistan to a crisis today turned into celebrations. A jubilant crowd surrounded the country's chief justice after the government gave in and gave him back his job. Celebrated as a victory for democracy, the concession's also a lesson in solving conflicts, according to one government official who resigned this weekend to make her point. They don't need to be settled on always the streets. They don't need uh, to produce more fault lines in, in an already, uh, I would say, embattled Pakistan. And to Washington, this battle looked like a dangerous distraction from the anti-terror fight Pakistan claims to support. By any measure, what's been happening here matters to America. Pakistan's a nuclear-armed country on the supply route for the war in Afghanistan, and it's facing a growing threat from the Taliban and al-Qaeda. Twice in just the past two days, U.S. and NATO supply stations in northwest Pakistan have been attacked by insurgents. Most of the fuel and equipment for the war in Afghanistan passes through Pakistan, on routes sure to get busier as America sends in more troops. With demonstrations called off and roadblocks coming up, the American embassy here said Pakistan had been statesmanlike, defusing a crisis, signaling Washington's approval or its relief. Richard Roth, CBS News, Islamabad.